Hello and welcome to the course Marine Engineering. Today I will start the course uh, uh, the topic heat transfer. So heat transfer phenomena is happening in many places in, in and around your life and in your marine engineering system also. So basic topic I will be selecting from KC NAG, uh, the NAG book basic and applied thermodynamics not KC NAG this is PK NAG. And any standard textbook on heat transfer will be okay for this study because this is basic heat transfer thing I will be discussing. The heat transfer will be used for many places in your marine engineering system. For example, you have one heat exchanger in a boiler system, you have heat exchanger in your refrigeration system, you have heat exchanger in your uh, nuclear power plant system or gas turbine system. So there will be several heat, ex heat exchanges or heat transfer area where you have to consider the material maybe maybe you have to resize the whole system or you have to when you are designing a naval ship, ship so that time you have to give certain space for placing your heat exchange system you may have to design for cooling water system or you have to heat room during winter season so there are multiple uses of heat transfer theories in your marine engineering or marine or ship systems so in this uh, week I will discuss about different modes of heat transfer, what are the, how to calculate if you have one pipe, you have any solid wall, how heat will be transferring from one point to another point, what is the temperature gradient, I will be discussing regarding uh, electrical analogy and I will be discussing about heat exchangers, heat exchangers are commonly used in your systems such as uh, refrigeration system, it is used in your bikes, it, it is used in your marine engineering systems and many, uh, many applications are there. So, I will discuss around two and a half and three hours uh, this week, uh, different mathematical calculation, different modes of heat transfer, different uh, mechanism of heat transfer. Okay. So, basic mechanism are conduction. So, conduction means like you have solid body and if you heat one end, heat will be transferred to other end. Okay. If it is metal, they say iron or copper or aluminum, it will have very high heat conductivity. So, because of heat high conductivity, this one end if you heat, slowly heat will be going to the other end. Okay. This is going through a solid body and it is called heat conduction. Okay. And heat is conducted because of molecular resonance. Whenever, whenever you are heating a body, molecule will be resonating at a higher rate. Okay that resonance will be transferred to another molecule, another molecule, another molecule. So, this way molecules will be transferring heat to other end of this metal object. Okay. This is the basic principle of conductive heat transfer. Now, in convection heat transfer, in uh, actual molecular motion will be there. In conduction, you see molecular resonance was there and that resonance you transferred, but molecules did not move from one point to another point. But in convection heat transfer, what happens? molecule will be transferred, molecule will be taking heat, it will be physically moving to another place okay. and cold fluid will be coming to that hot area, again it will be getting heated up, it will be moving to the another place. So, that way convective heat transfer will be occurring okay. and radiation, radiation heat transfer is occurring from sun to earth heat is coming through radiation. Radiation means it does not need any medium. In vacuum also it can travel. Uh, again, when it is traveling through any medium, let us say air. So, from sun to earth, heat is coming, but it is not heating up the air. Okay. It is sitting up directly at surface. Okay. So, the medium will not get heated up because of radiation. And the formula, like in previous week, I have discussed about different scale of uh, temperature. We have seen Celsius scale, Fahrenheit scale, Rankine scale, Kelvin scale. So, this formula you have to remember K equals C plus 273.15 C by 5 F32 by 9. So, if I give any temperature in centigrade or Fahrenheit or Rankine, you can convert to other scales. Okay. So, this basic formula, although, although I have told in previous uh, week, but again you should remember this one. So, uh, heat transfer examples are uh, IC engine in your marine engineering system, engine, uh, then you will have boiler system where heat transfer calculation we have to do, ice engine we have to do heat transfer calculation, air conditioner you have, refrigeration and air conditioner, I will not write AC, otherwise 
you should not say it is a bank account, it is air conditioner. Conditioner or refrigerator. Okay, there also heat transfer uh, system will be there, heat exchanger will be there, we have to calculate. And in air conditioner system, many times heating, ventilation, air conditioner we say. So, if cold winter, uh, cold weather uh, you are facing, for example, you are traveling to Alaska, temperature will be very low. So, in that case, you have to heat the room to make it comfortable for the passengers. You are transporting uh, natural gas, CNG, complex natural gas. So, you have to maintain certain amount of temperature. Your engine is producing lots of heat, that heat must be dissipated. So, lots of work you have to do with the heat, how to dissipate sometime, how to increase heat sometime because heat is your power. Okay. So, that power should be used properly, misuse means that can be dangerous and if you are using properly that will give uh, enough efficiency in your system and low cost marine propulsion system you can design, you can generate or you have to design a compact marine uh, ship machinery systems.